Hello everyone, Jonathan with Excel Bets, and I have a model that I've been working on for a very long time, I'm calling it a hybrid EB model. It's going to be both top down and bottoms up. It's going to be nearly 100% dynamic, and it's going to bring in sportsbook review odds into the model automatically. So super efficient, really cool model that's going to be available for my, my members right now. It's still in beta testing, but I'm going to just show you how to use it what all logic is in it, and we'll find some EB bets for NBA basketball here today as well. So I've got a view only version here. So this is if you're gonna be a member, you're gonna go up here to file, make a copy, and then go click make a copy. And this allows you to have edible version. I've got to keep the master as a, a view only. So allow access there. And if you wanna get rid of this blue box, and really my whole purpose of that blue box is to make sure people do the file, make a copy. A lot of questions on that. You'll click it, you'll get the three box uh, circles up in the top right, click delete, and now you're off and running. So what we have here, I'm just gonna walk through the logic. We've got the money line tab, handicap and over under. We've got our matchups. This is all coming in automatically. I haven't done anything yet. And the only thing we really need to do is we're gonna have bookmaker as a sharp book, and we're also gonna have pinnacle as a sharp book. So I've got a pinnacle tab here. Click this length, bring up pinnacle, NBA odds. Make sure it's in American odds if you've never accessed it before. Just start at the top, copy down, control C, go back over here, go ahead and delete out previous day's information. Start in A2, control V, and then click paste values only. So we'll go back to our, our money line. So now we can see we've got Bookmaker and Pinnacle Odds brought in. Bookmaker is going to be a web connection that I have in the background, so you don't have to do anything there. Pinnacle is a copy paste. And here's the split that you can do between sharp books. So you can do a 50 50, meaning we're going to put 50% weight on Bookmaker Odds and 50% on Pinnacle. And we combine that to get a sharp 1% for money line. So plus 154, minus 154 for the Hawks Bucks. Or if you want that to be different, if you want to put more weight, on Pinnacle, you would adjust that. So this is 25% Bookmaker, now 75% Pinnacle. And if you want to run this just without having to do any copy paste, you could put that as 100% Bookmaker, 0% Pinnacle. You don't even need to have anything for Pinnacle if you don't want to do the copy paste or if you want to do this from your phone, that's a way to do it. But I'm going to keep that as a default 50-50. So we're going to get a nice hybrid sharp EV. So plus 154, minus 154 as our sharp top-down EV odds for the Hawks Bucks, and then plus 203, minus 203 on the Rockets Thunder. And then from there, I'm bringing in D-ratings information, so 36%, 64%. That's gonna be a web poll as well, but I just have D-ratings page up here, so you can see the 36 and 64, and the 37.1 and 62.91 percentages. So you can see that we've got those already coming in, so you don't have to do anything there. And then I'm going to combine what we had for the sharp books with the, the D rating. So we've got our top down and then the D ratings. That'll be our bottoms up model. I put in 75% weight to the sharp books, 25% to D ratings to get a hybrid blended 1%. So with that, we get break even odds on this hybrid of plus 160 minus 160 plus 194 minus 194. So if you want to just run this as 100% sharp book ev model you can make this 100 percent put zero weight to d ratings you can just have that as a nice reference and you can see that we've got our hybrid which equals r sharp plus 154 plus 154 so a lot of flexibility with this and i think it's super intuitive and very easy and so i'm keeping that at 75 percent weight to the sharp books 25 percent to d ratings and then over here, we've got our sportsbook review lines that I've pulled in. It took a lot of a lot of trial and error, but I think I've got the logic 100% worked out here. You can see that we've got all the, I've got six books coming through on my sportsbook review for Iowa. So BetMGM, FanDuel, Caesars, Bet365, DraftKings, and Dra uh, Bet Rivers. You can see we've got those books coming through and then their odds. And then I'm actually going to highlight, I have conditional formatting that's going to highlight if it's an EB bet or not. So 
this is, I mean, you can't get simpler than that. So I got two EV bets here, Bet Rivers at minus 155 for the Bucks, and then plus 194 on FanDuel for the Rockets. So using the 50%, 50% split for the Sharp Books, and then 75, 25 for Sharp Books versus D ratings. We've got two EV bets. And then all you have to do over here, if you want to place that bet on Bet Rivers, know what to place. You got to drop down here, put Bet Rivers in. You can see based on a 500 bankroll on a 0.5 Kelly factor, it'd be about a $5 bet, EV of 1.2%. And then we can go over here and select FanDuel because that was the EV bet there, plus 194. You can see that's just basically a break even bet. Uh, 194 and our break even odds were plus 194. So that's, a, that's kind of a push bet, but again, the same logic. And if you want to be able to have other sports books that are not on Sportsbook Review. You can put in your manual odds here. So plus 200, let's say. We've got another book outside that parameter. And you can see there we've got an EV bet because the 200 is the longest odds of anything offered. So pretty, I think it's a pretty slick way to use it. So that's the money line. It's going to be pretty similar logic for handicap and over under. And you can see we also have the market width filter here. So these are all tight market whiffs, but you, know, you can't have that filter there for filtering out any big disparity matchups. Let's go over to handicap, similar logic here. We got the 50-50 split, split. We've got the bookmaker and pinnacle handicap lines. So bookmaker has that at 3.5, uh, pinnacle has Hawks as a four underdog. And then with that, I basically am just gonna put some weight on those to get a blended handicap value. And then here I'm using a half point spread value. Eight is what I'm using as base conservative. I've got some inputs here if you want to change that and some ways to kind of think about those values between moderate, conservative, and aggressive. And you can see that it's a little bit of a lean to the the under on the longer odds on the, the Hawks there. So we've got Bookmaker at 3.5, Penny at 4. So with that even though it's going to round to a four line, there would be a little bit more of a, a lean to the Hawks um, covering, you know, 3.75 essentially. So that's just to get some weight to if there's a difference between the bookmaker and pinnacle handicap values and, you know, the reverse on the buck. So we're saying that the bucks are lines of four, but really bookmaker is saying they're only 3.5 favorites. So, you would have a little bit longer odds on the bucks at the four line, so plus 104. And then we're going to pull in the D ratings information. So they've got the projected point totals and then the corresponding spread. Blend that again. We get plus four, minus four at minus 104 and plus 104 odds. And then it's going to do the same thing. It's going to highlight where our EV bets are. So you can see bet 365 at minus three, minus 110. And we'll go over here and we'll select bet 365. You can see we've got an EV bet there, about 0.45%. And then we can do the reverse up here. So we've got a couple different lines being offered here. So we can look and see what of those make sense. So we've got plus five, minus 105 on Caesars, or plus 5.5 at minus 110 on FanDuel. So the FanDuel one's 1.32% EV, and then that Caesars one, is 0.7. So if you have FanDuel, you'd want to place the FanDuel bet. And I've also got off over here on the off print screen, the EV percent. So if you want to see which one is the higher EV percent, you can look at that. So FanDuel is the, the bet to place there. So there's two EV bets on the spread side. And again, you can, you can change these splits, but all this you can see is dynamic. I'm not able to see exactly where to focus my attention. You could go over here to Sportsbook review, you could see line movement here just to confirm your, your analysis. You can see we haven't had much movement there, but just a way to feel really good about your bets. Uh, and I think make this really easy as far as line chopping. If it's odds already brought in for you, highlight it. If it's an EV bet, you could do your research. You can just take that bet as is, you know, it kind of depends on your time and how much analysis you want to do. Over-unders here, you can see we've got quite a bit of 
bets on the under for the Hawks Bucks game. We've got that line at two, 227 and a half for both bookmakers. And then D ratings has that at 231. So we blend those together. We're going to get a line above the 227 and a half. We got 228.5. Looks like all the retail books are having that line quite a bit higher. So we want to take the under. And you can go over here to see what of those is the highest EV. So that'd be the bet 365. 231 and a half at minus 110. So let's go ahead and just drop that, select that. So that's a nice $10 bet there, obviously with a pretty small bankroll, but you can adjust that to what your betting bankroll is. And then the Rockets Thunder is the reverse. We want to take the over there. We've got 214 and a half, 215 for Pinnacle. So we got a 215 blended there. A little bit more weight to the under there because we got the 214 from the bookmaker. But then D ratings is coming in with 221.5 as the, the point total. So we blend those together 216.5. So all the books are in play there. You could look, we've got 213.5 at minus 110. So we want to take that FanDuel. And you can see we've got a almost a 5% EV bet. So taking the over on the Second game for the day, the Rockets Thunder makes a lot of sense. And then again, you can go in and look at D ratings if you want. Got it pulled up here. You can toggle over and look at some of the other additional information that D ratings have, major injuries, where we've seen as far as movement. So you can see the over here is seeing base ratings. We've got some sharp line movement, which confirms what we just said. So we've Another way to look at it is if the model's telling you to take the over, you go over here to D ratings, drill in and see that we've got steam movement. We've got base ratings confirming that, hey, there's there's some nice momentum to the over. That's a great way to confirm your, your bets. And then you can go over here to the sportsbook review. We can go see as far as total movement. You can see we had um, some movement up and then kind of reverted back down and you can go through the different sports books. So FanDuel has actually moved their lines down. Um, but yeah, just another way just uh, to analyze your bets. You can see Caesars went down and now it's training back up. So that's how to use it. Again, we've got one drop in Pinnacle. If you want to use Pinnacle, if you just want to run this as a 100% bookmaker, make that 100%. If you want to make this as 100% sharp, model, make this 100%. If you want to make this 100% D ratings model, make that 0%. You could choose different percentages you want. If you want to make this 100% pinnacle, make that 100, make this 100. A lot of, lot of flexibility. I think it's a, the best model as far as just all the different pieces come together. And, you know, I, I don't know how else you can get a model this uh, robust. Um, without having to have some line, some different subscriptions that, you know, pretty pricey. I've got a, I think a very reasonably priced subscription. If you want access to every single one of my models on my website, excelbets.com, including this model, this is going to be exclusive to members only. It's a very reasonable price. And I hope that you find this super helpful. I'm really excited about it. This is something that took a ton of time, but I think it is the most holistic and I think the best way to approach your, your EV betting is to have multiple input sources that all confirm each other to make sure that the bets you're placing, there's all the data points are pointing to, hey, that's a, that's an EV bet. We've got a mispricing on a retail sports book and let's place a bet and let's make some money in the long run. So hope you found that helpful. Please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Give me a comment if there's something else you'd like to see as future models. I've got a laundry list of things I, I'm working on, but if I hear some consistency, I'll definitely reprioritize that. Definitely check out the subscription I have on my website, excelbets.com. I'm running a promo right now, an introduction offer through the end of the year. So if you're going to, if you're a bit on the fence about signing up, or if you see this video and you're like, Hey, I need this model, please do sign up before the year end. I think there's just a lot of value in this model. Again, you can run that. This is Google sheets. You can run this on your phone. You can make this 100% bookmaker. You don't have to do any updating. 
and you can run this throughout the day. What I like to do is first thing in the morning, pull in the, the penny odds, run it in the morning, see if there's any EV bets, and then I'll check it later in the day. Just based on my schedule, that's what works for me. Thank you for watching and God bless.